and then look right here, I guess. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Real Talk with the Officer Tatum. Obviously, Corinne is with me. Y'all loved her so much, I had to bring her back so she can be with me to talk. We got the light fixed, so it looks way better. But um, obviously, I'm going to let a couple people get on. We've already made the announcement on the social media who actually won the giveaway. Some of y'all have no idea what I'm talking about. So uh, we'll make that announcement here in a minute. But first, uh, I want to let people get on a quick commercial while people are joining. Corinne um, has a def this thing called a Defender Ring. Corinne, you want to show them what the Defender Ring is? Yeah. You want me to explain it? Yeah, you got it on. Just real quick. Just a quick explanation while we wait for everybody to get in. So while we wait for everybody to get in, Corinne is going to explain a couple times during the live stream, but she's going to explain what this Defender Ring is. We have the link in the in the uh, description section where you can click on the link. Make sure you use her code so you can get 10 percent off of it. But she's going to describe what the Defender Ring is. It's for women. I, I, I bet I see no man with no Defender Ring. Why on. not? Men can have it but too. It's, it's for women. So just explain to them real quick what the Defender Ring is and uh, just show them right there. There you go. So they have a few different toppers. I liked the rose topper. I saw it when I first saw it. I thought it was just a rose ring and I wanted to get it. Oh, wow. That's close. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. That's nice. But the cool part about it is that you unscrew it and it's got a little shank and it's super sharp. Um, so it's used uh, to defend yourself. Um so I got I got some crazy messages today. A guy was like, well, I don't, uh, you know, everyone should carry. That ring is stupid. You should, you know, everyone should carry. But um, when I worked retail for 20 years, you couldn't have a gun at work. Yeah, so um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good alternative if you don't have a gun, you have access to a gun. Yeah. It's something that women can buy. Um, you, you twist it off real quick. You slice and dice if you have to. It's a way to defend yourself. It's not in place of a gun or anything else, but it's alternative means, right? You have a, because think about this for a minute. In, in every situation, you can't just pull the trigger on somebody, right? Yeah. It, it, you have to be, y'all need to know these laws because if you think because you got a gun and somebody does something, you you automatically can, can use a deadly force against them. That's not necessarily true. Mm -hmm. There's some things where you have, where you have to use reasonable amount of force as a civilian, mm -hmm. you know, so you can't just always go to gunplay. You may need some alternatives. We'll talk a little bit more about it here in a second. But um, yeah, anyway, so when I saw it, I saw it, I don't know, a week ago and I had to have it. I ordered it immediately. I think it's so cool. You unscrew it. You know, you can slash, you know, you can jab someone's eye out. If someone attacks you from behind, you can, you know, slash their face up at very minimum. Um, you know, it'll collect someone's DNA. Um, so I don't know. I think it's super cool. Even for like girls that are 15, 16, 17, you're not old enough to have a gun. Um, you know, high school girls, girls in college. I feel like every girl, every woman, every girl should have one. And I told Corinne to be short, mm -hmm. uh, but she she don't know how to be short. I think oh, she I talking. think she's going to talk more. That. I think she's going to talk more than me. And she say I talk a lot, but she probably talks more than me. But anyway, she's going to be right back. Let's keep going with the live stream. I'm going to give some more people a chance to get on. I know that I'm doing this sporadic. I know a lot of people can't find the live stream because I changed the name of the YouTube channel. That could be the case. Uh, we'll see where it goes from here. But I'll wait till about five minutes for everybody to get on. I'll answer a few questions in the comment section and then we'll go from there. One of the things I said about the politics thing is that y'all know I'm not going to quit politics, right? It's, it's it's clear to see that B. Tatum ain't going to just quit politics altogether. But I, I think it's invaluable for us to put life and politics in perspective. And I did a whole live stream about this on Instagram earlier, is that I, I know my channel is political and I'll keep, I'll keep doing political stuff because that's what most people want to see. But at some point in time, we got to change it up a little bit. You know, it's consistent, constant politics, 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 politics. And we forget about reality. These these loony Democrats are going to be as silly and as ignorant no matter what you do. I haven't even looked at the impeachment stuff. I, I haven't even looked at it. I, 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 won't, I don't even know if I'm going to look at impeachment. And the reason why is because I don't believe that impeachment should be controlling my life. It shouldn't be controlling my life. Trump is not going to be removed from office. Trump is going to be the president in 2020. And they consume our souls. 
with this impeachment, this democratic riffraff, it, it gets sickening, man. So I'm going to talk a little bit about politics in this one because I always do. But I also want to talk about other things. Eventually, I'm going to start making some videos and broaden up the, the perspective and, and the reality of what's going on. So a few questions. If you guys want to ask questions, just ask it in the in the uh, just quote my name or do a super chat. I see. Embrace anarchy is what somebody said. I seen some other ones up here. Let's see. Let's see. No alternative guns up. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second, because I know you got some hardcore uh, people who want to say guns, 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 but they haven't thought this through. Let's see. Luciano, thanks so much for the super chat. Brandon, uh, do you have a P.O. box? I don't do Twitter or Facebook. Uh, how can I connect uh, contact you? Well, I have a you could you could contact me via email. If you go to Tatum B.O.I. three four Tatum B.O.I. three four at Gmail dot com. Send me a message. I'll get back to you and then we can connect on that. We can connect that way. All right, Luciano, thanks so much, brother. I appreciate all the super chats that you've done in the past, all the support for the channel. I appreciate it. Let's see. All right. So this is about as many people as probably going to come on here, man. So I'm going to talk about the giveaway. I'll announce it. We'll talk a little bit about other things, and then I'm off of here. This will be very short. Impromptu live stream. I know y'all probably doing other people probably doing other stuff. Um, so we did a giveaway yesterday. It was quick. I wanted to do it. I wanted to get somebody the hat. I wanted to get it over with. Um, I didn't want to waste a lot of time because I just wanted to get this hat out to somebody as soon as possible. All right. So this is the hat. 45. The camo hat. I signed it. And we chose a winner. I use a app called random person or something like that. I put everybody's name in and it randomly selects somebody. So it's not B Tatum going on here, just clicking something. I randomly select somebody and her name is Bethany Mariah. Mariah. Bethany Mariah, you already know I message you. So Bethany Mariah is the winner. Bethany Mariah will get this hat with my signature on it. I'll mail it to her. Um, which was pretty cool. S seemed like a cool young lady. She'll get the hat. We'll do giveaways, but we'll do them more methodical, right? I just want to do it right, just right off the top. But in the future, we'll post on uh, social media. We'll give you a couple days. The way that you could have won this one, the way that we're going to do it in the, in the future is that we want people to go on and follow us, follow the store, the Our Stadium store on all the social media. And if you follow the store on the social media and whatever criteria we give you, you can win. All righty. Kelly, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Gail Drake, thanks so much for the super chat. Um, how do, What do you think is going to happen in Virginia? I don't know, man. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen in Virginia. Virginia can get ugly. It can get ugly because I believe that Ralph Northam said that there's no guns at the rally. Well, there's no, yeah, no guns at the Capitol building. At the Capitol building, which is, which is, I think, where they're, where yeah. they're going to rally at. So how is that going to pan out? Because if you're going for, if, you, if you're going to a rally for Second Amendment, I'm pretty sure you're going to be exercising your Second Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. It remains to be seen. But I think this is, this is, this is the incident that's going to echo around the country. And this is going to set the tempo. I heard someone, uh, post i think on social media that if if people are going and they can't protect themselves it just leaves the door open for antifa to be there but i i antifa I ain't, ain't with it antifa they not gonna handle guns well no they don't but they have everything else and it kind of leaves our side defenseless but i thought if they're gonna have metal detectors and things like that that aren't gonna let people in um then i feel like wouldn't that also keep antifa from bringing their their weapons in I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be. It's the whole. I'm sure the whole rally is not. It's gonna be tens of thousands of people. I don't know how they're it's gonna constitutional. be. They're gonna be all outside. It's crazy. It's not constitutional. I mean, it's not. It's not constitutional. And I think that they're violating people's constitutional rights by putting any restriction, any restriction on firearms. Now, it can get dicey, and we're gonna talk about that here in a second. Let me let me grab a few super chats. Uh, what do you plan on talking about in the future? My plan on this channel is to talk 
about a, a myriad of different things. I did a video why I'm no longer a police officer. I want to do motivational videos. I want to do videos talking about, uh, uh, you know, different things, social things, how to raise kids, you know, how to make money, how to do all these things. I want to talk about motivational things. I want to get you encouraged. But I want you to remember politics, but I want you to do more than just just labor day and night, night and day over impeachment. They got your, they got people's minds trapped up in this stuff and you forget about the real world. It's all a hoax. The president is not going to be impeached. You need to make sure you show up and vote. If, if you don't know nothing else about politics, sharing videos or whatever, if you don't want to do, just make sure you show up and you vote and tell somebody else to go vote. Let's see, Danielle, that's, that's pretty much some of the videos that I want to talk about. Let's see. Did I miss something here? We got that one. This one. You want to read this one, babe? Jason, yeah. thank you so much for the super chat. It says, love your channel. Keep up the good work. How do you think things will go in Richmond, Virginia on the 20th? My friends, I plan on being there Monday. It, 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 now, I don't think that they're going to be able to use military military force or law enforcement force against citizens. It's not going to be it's not going to look good. It's not going to go well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how they're going to combat gun toting people violating the law, violating their laws by not being able to have guns at the Capitol. I don't know how they're going to combat that. Um, maybe they have the riot police, but if police shoot people as a result of this, it's not going to go well. The only thing I'm afraid of is that the media is going to, you know, crazy, you know, right wing gun enthusiasts storm the Capitol. Um, I don't know. I'm afraid that like the media is going to paint it in some crazy narrative um, and guns aren't allowed. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't it, it, know enough on the subject, but hasn't somebody sued him? Shouldn't this go to the Supreme Court? Won't the Supreme Court be like, no, that's unconstitutional. Yeah, I think they should. Their Second Amendment away, like none of this makes me afraid. Uh, I'm only afraid of the violence. I'm not. I'm not afraid of the perspective, the perception. Yeah. Because perception is gonna be bad. I don't care what you do. They can go peacefully. They, the, the media is always gonna try to make people look bad. It's just they're gonna try to make conservatives look bad. There's gonna be some racist people there. There's gonna be some. There's gonna be some alt right people there. It's just. It's just the way it is. And they're gonna paint the picture. It. None of that matters. What matters is. Is this going to thwart Virginia from literally uh, taking over the Second Amendment for citizens in that state? This is that's what this is about. It's not about media. Who cares about people's perception? It's about what is going to happen there. I, if if Antifa shows up, I, I highly doubt they're going to show up. I highly doubt they're going to show up unless they're going to be ready to get brute force. And I'm okay with that if people want to like use it. We know it's. It's just normal people exercising and protecting our Second Amendment right. But the governor said, we've received credible intelligence from our law enforcement agencies that there are groups with malicious plans for the rally that is planned for Monday. And that's why he declared a state of emergency and banned, um, you know, banned guns. But we know it's not, you know, crazy white right wing who violent groups. So, But who cares? They're going to say it's crazy right wing violent groups if three grandmas show up. They're going to, you know, so I, I mean, if we, we we personally, we can't be concerned with what they might say. Well, you just got to go and take care of business. Damon, thanks so much for the super chat. Brandon Tatum, love you, brother. Keep up. Keep keep doing what you're doing. For sure. Mario, my brother, Second Amendment rally, Arizona on February the 15th. We will have our guns on us. I guarantee you, I, I, I'm speaking at that rally and I'm going to have my AR sling when I'm when I'm speaking. I'm going to have my AR. It's going to be loaded. It ain't going to be without the magazine in and all of those bull crap. Gonna start it's going to be loaded. I'm going to be ready to go. And we're going to, because in Arizona, we're going to make sure we protect our Second Amendment. We've had a couple counties become sanctuary counties. We're trying to vote for Maricopa County to become a sanctuary county for the Second Amendment. Mario, I'll see you there, brother. Let's see. P Peanut8421. Thanks so much for the super chat. Hey, B. Sending some love from Philadelphia. Found your channel back in November and have loved your videos ever since. Keep up. Keep on keeping on, brother. Uh, never give up the good fight. Simpl simplify, my brother. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I know I won't give up the fight, man. But I, the, the reason why I titled it that way, because I want people to branch out of just being so enthusiastic, not enthusiastic, but so obsessed. so obsessed and, and overwhelmed and controlled by politics. You know, I'm I, I'm going to say that I'm done allowing it to just completely control me. 
Every day I wake up is politics. Every day, I, every video I make is about Trump and about this and about that. And it's like, we got to make sure that we are thinking outside of the box too. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if, if Trump, if, if you got Trump 2020 campaign going, but you didn't lost your job or you're not happy and you're getting a divorce. I mean, what are you really accomplishing the totality of circumstances in this, in, in the big picture? You know, you want to make sure that you are having a well-rounded life and understand that this political stuff is games. CNN is going to forever be CNN. Is what CNN really making a difference? No. I'm telling you, it's not making a difference. CNN, FBI, they did all this stuff against Trump. And tell me what happened. He still got elected almost by a landslide. And none of them are being held accountable. And none of them are being look, look at look at the look at the rallies. They, Trump is getting impeached, technically. He's gonna be impeached in the in the house. He's not gonna be removing the Senate, but he will be in a president that will go down in history as being impeached. His rallies are bigger than they were last year. His support is bigger than it was a month ago. Yeah. I mean, so don't just don't let it get you, don't let it overwhelm you, man. Just don't let it, just don't let it break you. Danielle, thanks so much for Super Chat. But you want to read that? Yes, yeah, I like the videos you do about cop-related news because it's great to hear a cop's perspective. Look forward to your future videos. She nudged me because she's trying to tell me to do a full-out explanation in, uh, in, of a video that's going to take me hours to do. I think what you, I think what Danielle is referring to is just a, a quick perspective on cop-related yeah. issues, not the full throttle thing that me and you yeah. talked about, about going through shootings and trying to describe it. It's just it's way police, too much. There's the police shooting and popular public opinion. There's even been a few where I'm like, no, 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 they shouldn't have shot him. He wasn't in the wrong. And Brandon, from a police perspective, will play the video slowly and show me no here, no there, no there. And that's why, and that's why, and that's why. And then it makes sense to me. Um, so I feel like if you put those videos out there, there would be a lot more info for people to share on why these like police shooting cops aren't just getting away with, you know, yeah, and murdering it's not, the black man. And it's not that easy to do. So that's why I don't do it a lot. Like the full on explanation. I do commentary when police do stuff. I do commentary about it. But to go step by step, watch the video, then explain. I have to get my software in, in order to do that and make it feasible. So once I get it and figure out how to do it, then maybe I can do more of that. Thank you so much, Danielle. She said I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Let's see. I always carry my Glock 23 and my AR a few steps. My AR is a few steps away. Nothing chambered in the AR, but always a 30 round mag. Man, I keep my stuff chambered. I don't, I don't, as a police officer, I always keep it chambered. When the pressure is on, I don't want to have to be thinking about it. I want to go take it off safe and go. I don't want to be like, oh, oh, I forgot. I ain't even have one chambered because it's too late. I, my, my Glock is chambered. Everything, everything is consistently chambered. Let's see. Adam, thanks so much for the super chat. What's up from Minnesota? Love your videos. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You know what I think? The I think I, this is what I think. I think the way I titled the live stream has a lot to do with how it's pushed. You know, titling it Real Talk. I'm done with politics. I think Real Talk thwarts it. So that's why 500 people are watching right now when it's normally at least a thousand. I think I have to retitle it and then put it out. And I think that'd be a better live stream. Because it's all, and, and it's about likes too. If you guys like it, if you like it, it'll it'll blow up a little more. Let's see. You make a beautiful couple. Let's see. Rebecca, Holly, thanks so much for the Super Chat sticker. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Someone said I was falling asleep. My blood sugar's high. And we went to the gym and we had a crazy workout and my blood sugar's high. And it makes me yawn. Yeah, she, she thinks my live streams are boring, so it's okay. No, it's not true. I came to spice it up. Let's see. Somebody said something. I can't post unless I code it. Oh, yeah, I see. I think I know what you're talking about. So we'll do a QA and a real quick. I'm just going to go for about 30 minutes, and then we got to eat dinner. I'm going to stop at 30 minutes unless it get hot and heavy. So if you want, if you have a question, you want to ask me, here's your time. You got to put some emojis in there and, put my, and tag my name so I can see it in the comment section. Or you can ask it via Super Chat. Super Chat is a little dollar sign thing. You click it, 
and then it'll ask you whatever you want a, a dollar or you five hundred dollars to super Someone chat. Calls it YouTube. I know, man. It's kind of crazy, man. I, I but you got to learn how to game the system, and I, I think that there has been a lot that I have learned that will that has helped me become successful on YouTube. And there's some codes that I feel like I've, I've broken. And uh, this is one of the ones I'm learning. Like the way I titled this live stream is, is probably the reason why it looks like this. Because so, normally I don't title it like that. Someone said hello from Mesa. If you're in Mesa, you better go to that deplorable show tomorrow. Yeah. If you're in Mesa on the 17th. Tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. Yeah. The deplorable show. Deplorable show. It's going to be it's going to be a good time. Terrence Williams. I'm going to be there. It's going to be a lot of laughing. It's kind of like a comedy show, but it's also some motivation there because I'm going to be speaking more on a motivational tip. And uh, some of the other guys, are, there's some comedians that are actually there that are literally funny. And it's a place where all the conservatives can come together. And it's almost like a kumbaya for conservatives. You know, you get to come together, hang out, chat. It's at a, it's at a pretty good arena at the Mesa Arts Center. Um, you can get tickets on Mesa Art or you can go to Deplorable Show dot com deplorable show dot com the reason i say it like that because i don't want to say deplorables show it's just one s in that nancy pelosi and them are just terrible all right let's see state of the city's deciding okay What's, what's your thoughts on some state or cities deciding to make a sanctuary for illegals? Should this be a federal level when it comes to our national security? Yes. Yeah, I mean, listen, listen, this is, and I'll let Korean talk too. I'm going I'm to make this one quick statement. It's federal law. It's not like the law went away. It's federal law that if you're illegally in this country, you have to be reported to, to a border patrol. You're going to go through customs. And you're going to be deported if you don't have documentation. It's and, and you have a quote unquote due process, but you can't just evade holding people accountable. Let me tell. Let me give you an example. Marijuana is a federal offense. There are some states that legalize marijuana. Marijuana is a has has a is a federal offense. And and I'll say I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this because I think marijuana and illegals are very very different. Let me make sure I make that that conclusion there. The federal law says that you can't do this and come into our country, all right? If states don't abide by the federal law, then fe they should not get federal funding. And I I'm under the impression that that should go with every federal law. Yeah. It's like, what's the point of having a federal government if states don't abide by the federal law? And, and the federal law shouldn't have federal funding and, and, and the state shouldn't send any money to, to, to uh, the, 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 the government in certain cases. Because at some point, the way I look at it is that we are United, the United States of America, right? Individual states make up the United States of America. There are states' rights, right? The, the federal government didn't create the United States. The United States created a central government that we can fund and do stuff for all of our public interests. When they step outside of the public interest, they no more, they, they can, they're no more allowed to be the overseer of the state, in my personal opinion. But if we're going to agree to it and we're going to have them as the federal agencies that oversee our states and there's the federal law says that you can't do X, Y, Z, then you need then the federal law. The federal government should say we're going to withdraw funding. That's it. And the states say we don't want your funding. We're going to do this. It's very simple, in my personal opinion. Let me get this super chat real quick. Uh, Precision American Patriot Soldier. Thanks so much for the super chat. Great work. Uh, you've been putting in. I know you work with an old good friend of mine from NYC. We served in the Marines together. Jay Morana. Oh, okay. I used to work with. I used to work with. I appreciate it, man. I mean, we we spoke. We spoke before. We spoke before. Okay. What's your thoughts on that sanctuary stuff? Mm, I agree with you. I, I I think that sanctuary cities are awful. I think sanctuary cities are awful for taxpayers. If I'm a taxpayer and I know there are people that uh, police chiefs and police departments and mayors and city attorneys aren't handing over to ICE because they haven't been convicted of a felony yet. Um, people who've been arrested, who've been charged, drunk driving, um, crazy crimes. I mean, I'm afraid to say some things. I don't want it to like... Uh, 
buffer. But it's crazy to me that you can come into here one illegally, then break laws and have the United States or not United States, but have some of these states and some of these cities protect you. Yeah. I parked, I think this is what this is what this is what I had it with LA this is one of the reasons why I was like, I'm done, I'm leaving LA. I parked what was it like three inches over a red curb, but there was a big planter. So there wasn't like I was blocking a fire hydrant. It was a planter. I was two or three inches over a red curb. I got a $98 ticket. And I thought, what? And if I don't pay that, I can't, reg I can't renew my car registration, but you have criminals, illegal aliens coming over here, drunk driving, killing people, um, theft, burglary. I mean, all the other crazy crimes and they get protected by the government. So the government, LA government mayor, what's his mayor yoga pants, Raver uh, uh, Garcetti, um, protecting these criminals, but law abiding citizens. I don't break laws. Uh, you know, a speeding ticket here, there in my 15 years. I've been paying taxes since I was 15. I get a hundred dollar ticket for parking two inches over on the red curb. I was like, I'm done with this city, I'm done with the state. It's insane to me. Law abiding citizens. We get no, uh, what's the word? Like we get no, no respect, no, grace, no, no. no respect. It's just like taxpayers. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like if you, if you got, if you make a, if you make enough money to pay taxes, they gouge you. If yeah. you make a lot of money, they gouge you even harder. If you don't make money and you don't contribute, you have more benefits. You, you like you get tax returns and you ain't paid taxes. If you're unemployed and you got Fun kids, pays. you get tax, you get tax money back. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, the first and time it, I heard that when a girl who I, I knew she was, you know, on on SNAP or food stamps and didn't work, and she was excited for a tax return. And I was like, "Wait, you get a tax return?" And she said, "Yeah, your tax return." And I, me, I work full time. Plenty of times I've had two jobs or a full time job and a side hustle. And I'm like, "What do you? What do you mean? I don't. I I think the last two years I owed taxes." I'm like, what? It's crazy. You don't contribute to taxes, but you get my money back. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, Doug said, "What do you think about the situation in Virginia?" I, I mean, I think That's it's anyone's talking about. Everybody's talking about it, but I, I, I I'm, I'm kind of like that. tariffs and other things that people talk about. And I'm like, we need to see what's what about happened? to happen yeah. because I can, I can speculate and run my mouth about all of this stuff. Some of the things that they're doing in uh, uh, Virginia, they doing it in California. They're doing it some of these other places. You California, you if you don't have a conceal if you don't have a concealed carry permit in the state of California, and I looked this law up because I was driving to California with my gun. If you don't have a concealed carry permit, when you're traveling in a motor vehicle, mm -hmm. you got to have your gun in a lockbox and the ammo separated from the firearm. So it's, if, if, it's no point of having a gun. You can't. If something hit the fan, you got to get in the trunk, unlock it, put it, load it. That's you don't do that in Arizona. Mm -hmm. In Arizona is a constitutional carry state. You can carry oh you can have open or concealed, no permit, no nothing. So people, I think people may be falling asleep because it's happening in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Just like if it happened in Arizona, maybe people will be more heightened. Mm -hmm. California is already doing their citizens like this. They're banning magazines. Like what that that's, that makes no sense. They're starting with magazines. Our federal government banned bump stocks. The, yeah. President Trump banned a bomb stock. So it's kind of like, for me, it's like, I want to see how far is the government going to go? Because at the end of the day, two things are going to happen. The people in the state is going to have to stand up for their state. Right. I can't do nothing for Virginia. All right. So I understand the point of people flying there for the rally to show, you know, support and show how important it is. But if you're in Virginia, you vote. You either move away, take your money, your tax money elsewhere. Um, my aunt lives in Virginia. I know she went to one of the rallies a few weeks ago. I know it's not easy to pack up and move a state, um, but that's crazy. I don't understand. I mean, and I don't know enough of what's going on there. I'm, I'm, I'm in Virginia, but I mean, there has to be some kind of class, class action lawsuit in California. There's a, a movement, petitions to remove um, awful Gavin Newsom. This is going to be- like Northern, he should be removed. I feel like once it goes- that's it's just it's unconstitutional to me. I do feel like it's it may be much ado about nothing. It, what it is is that they are slow rolling, taking yeah. away your Second yeah. Amendment rights. Every state is doing it. Yeah. I dang near, dang near every state is doing it. All these liberal states for sure. You can't see go to Washington and think you're gonna have the same right. Yeah. So I want to see what the what the people of Virginia are gonna do 
And I want to see what the president's response is. Right. And, and then I want to I want to do commentary on how I think all of this is going to play out, because this rally on the 20th is going to make it's going to be the difference maker. I think if people get hurt, yeah. if something happened, the president is going to have to respond. He's going to have to respond. And I perceive that the president wants to wait until there's something substantial that he can actually do that he can do to expose Northam, expose Virginia, expose all these crazy loony leftists. Yeah. There's something that he's going to have to do. Now, I want y'all to be I want y'all to be clear about this. It's very difficult for people to talk about owning and responsible gun ownership with, with, with as, it, as it relates to the Second Amendment, because there are things that our ancestors have voted for and supported that is even giving the government the inkling to do half of this stuff. We have voted that if you have a felony, that you cannot own a firearms. That's that's that was the first step of thwarting a, a person's Second Amendment rights. Now, you know, we, we we've agreed to that. We have been desensitized to that. To, to most people that's living, that's normal. You're a felon, you can't have a gun. I, they're changing that to the red flag laws. Mm -hmm. Now that if you are deemed crazy, you shouldn't own a gun. Domestic violence is already. That's already existing domestic violence laws in the state of Arizona. If you get an order of protection against you, a restraining order against you, well, I think it's a, I think it's a restraining order. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's an order of protection. I get them all confused because some is family members and the other one is domestic related, and I always forget them. But anyway, if you get an order of protection against you from a domestic violence situation, your guns are taken and confiscated out of your house, and the person can make it up. They can be like, oh, I've seen dudes get kicked out of their own houses and you get restraining orders right. put on. And you ain't into me. I know a lot. I know some people around here. You better act right. Anyway, let's move. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, people of pain. Is it people. People of pain. Baby, can you read that? Yes. Yeah, says that no one truly really wants uh, violence. At what point do you feel actual things will begin to be necessary to stop our rights from being taken? It's I, gonna have to be violence. It's gonna. It's gonna. I don't want them to turn your. I don't. I don't want. I don't think people should do that. But they're not gonna do anything if you just talk. Uh, and I'm not saying it got to be illegal. Yeah. I'm not saying you got to do anything like that. But what it is is that if you have a constitutional right, they can't come in your house and take your firearm. And I, and I feel like having a Republican president, I feel like we're we're at least safe. I would be honestly scared if Bernie or Hillary or one of those no guns, you know. But I think that's what they're talking about. I feel like then that's when it would be like, OK, let's. Let's have a revolution 2.0. Let's, you got to stand. Um, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, I mean, that's it. I think like now that, I think while for the next, what, four and a half, five years while Trump is in office, I think it's fine. And I, but I think after that is when it's like, okay, well, is this talk or not? If you're a gun owner, if you, if you're going to get as much as you can, I'm going to go leave it at that. Yeah. I can't say too much because I know they're going to be there. Yeah. Get as much as you can. Max, all that, get as much as you can for the next four years. Because if, if if a liberal gets in in 2024, it's very well possible. Everybody keep running their mouth, but then they mess around and don't show up to vote. If a liberal gets in in 2024, you, you can imagine executive order. Yeah. Executive orders to ban certain, certain you know what, 2 a stuff. And then what do you do about it, right? If they say, if they say in the state of Arizona, let me give you an example. I'm not going to, any active aggression. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Um, but I, what I do, what I will say is that if I have my stuff here and I have it here, they say you need to remove it. They're not going to get it. Do you remember what happened at the Bundy ranch? Yeah, that, that was, that's, that's what I'm talking about because the government tried to infringe on their constitutional rights and the state rights. Yeah. They said, we're going to hold our ground. And yeah. other patriots came and said, we're going to stand up against government tyranny yeah. and nobody got hurt. Pretty much. I mean, I think it was one person that got hurt, but there was no big, there was no big damage. Um, Rebecca, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Super chat sticker. Let me read that thing because it's jumping everywhere. I, I don't say anything, but it's jumping around. Pr appreciate it, Rebecca. But to me, I think that's the difference between the Bundy Ranch situation and this situation in uh, Virginia at the Capitol, because I, I feel like the times I've been, I've been to federal court, I don't know, three, four times. Um, I don't think you can bring weapons in. Can you bring a gun in unless you're a police officer? I don't think you can. No. You have to go through the metal detectors. I don't think you can bring weapons in for obvious reasons to a courtroom. 
Um, and I know that the Capitol building isn't a courtroom, but I feel like it's a public building. You, it's, it's, well, right. But yeah. saying you, yes. So saying you can't have guns here or you can't have guns at this event is different than saying you can't have guns on your own property or you can't. But see, I think I think and I agree with you a thousand percent. I think that's where people have to stand your ground at. You're not going to it's not beneficial for you to try to stand your ground on, on other um, people's turf. Right, stand your ground. Yeah. Make sure you stand around your turf. Pro yeah. You know, and I know people may say, well, if we stand it's there, they won't come to our yeah, turf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, just make sure because I don't know, man, it's just a very difficult question because I'm under the impression that at some point mm -hmm. you have to stand up for your constitutional yeah. rights. Like. At some point, the government can't just arbitrarily do whatever they want to do. And, and and but what I'm saying is that you have to understand you're not fighting a direct enemy. It's not like you go down to the courthouse and you and you know this person is who you're fighting. You, you got to think there's staffers, there's police officers, there's a lot of people involved in this that's not involved in this. Yeah. If, if that makes sense. As a responsible to a person. You have to find a way to handle it. And I feel like standing your ground on your own property is the end all be all. When you go into a position where you're at a courthouse or you're at a public event and they want to pull cards like that, it's, you, what you need to do is turn out the vote and you need to petition the president to, to make an executive action and, and, to, and to stand up for the constitutional rights, which I believe thwarts state rights. Now, and I'm saying that because you have law enforcement officers like I was that if they tell you you have to enforce this law, you can't just quit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and we're on the same team. And some of these people are, are going to be forced to do things that they don't necessarily agree with. And I'm not saying at your house is different. Mm -hmm. But when you out in public, you got to be measured. Part of me wonders if and I wasn't alive during the 60s, but from everything I read and I hear, part of me wonders if. Like in the 60s, um, society and culture was way over here on this side. And then we kind of swung back this way. We had Reagan and conservatism in the 80s and 90s. And I feel like now we're swinging way back this way. But I kind of feel like, I, I don't know. I, I feel like at EU, they have Brexit, uh, you know, the Yellow Vest protests in France. Um, Sweden, I think, has seen what open borders and massive amounts of refugees and being super liberal will get them. So I don't know. I feel like more and more people of, that I would never think support Trump, support Trump. And a lot of people that it surprises me when I get messages that they agree with conservative values. And I feel like people who lived in California and see their state being ruined um, by the by the Democrats and by the left. I think that people are going to swing back. The pendulum. I mean, um, so Donald Trump is our Brexit. Yeah, I think so. That's pretty much. I, I think so. I mean, he's he's our Brexit pretty much. I could be wrong, but I think so. I mean, I that's. Hope so. But but let, let's. Uh, Brazilian America, thanks so much for the super chat. What do you say, baby? Can you read uh, it? Very sad when Bolsonaro in Brazil just gave out two hundred thousand law-abiding citizens firearms in twenty nineteen to drop crime. It worked. They're trying to do it our way, right? Yeah, I feel like conservatism is taking over worldwide. Sheldon, yeah. Sheldon Clay, thanks so much for the super chat. Hey y'all, subject change. How do y'all meet? And Brandon, what advice tips do you have for another black man seeking a white queen? A uh, white queen, oh. black man. <laughs> oh no, no, no. We let, let, I, I, we'll talk about that here in a second. I think that we should be promoting 2A. The 2A keeps all the rest of them in line. And, and I feel like if you show up somewhere, I'm, I'm telling you, if these people show up 2A, y'all know what I'm saying? They showing up 2A? Yeah. The government will back down. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you. True. It, the, the optics of this happening in, in America in America is not going to be good. Yeah. Because then people are going to come from other states. And people our government, from other states. well, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying to conflict. I'm right now, yeah. people are coming from other states to support. If there's conflict, people are going to come from other states to engage in conflict. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's a lot it, of people ready who want that smoke. They want the smoke. They're like, people, like, let me see. Babe, say we, the word, bring we, it. We're watching this channel. Let me, let me get these super chats mm -hmm. real quick. Let's see. Keep yeah, putting out the word good thing, Mr. Tatum. True. I appreciate it, Brazilian American. I appreciate it. Hold on one second. We got we got to talk about this. Mm -hmm. Clay, we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about uh, how we met and how a black man can get a good woman, no matter what color she is. Let's see. She's smart and beautiful, Brandon. You're a lucky man. No, she we both are lucky people. Let's see. I'm lucky too. She's super lucky. She's blessed. You're lucky. You you're blessed. I'm I'm pretty lucky. 
I'm, I'm all right. No, <laughs> so what were we talking about? No, no, I think that I think that. I feel like before we get, we don't want to get anywhere close to China and Hong Kong. We don't want to get anywhere close to France or Iran, or Iran where they can, you know, charge us $8 for gas and they can, I don't know, conduct experiments on us and put us in work camps. The reason why they can't do that in America is because we have guns. We've got the second, the 2A is what we should say, right? Yeah, the so, 2A. Yeah, so how, it's super important. What was I saying? I thought I was going to make a good point. Oh, 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 they don't realize how many folk out here that's in the shadows. They, they don't realize how many people out in, in the flyover country. I, I think people don't, people they don't like see those people. Los Angeles and New York City. They don't, they don't see those people. There's people out here that you don't know exist in America. We were watching a show. We was watching that show. Um, oh, the Elephant in the Living Room. It's called Elephant in the Living Room. It's the, on Amazon Prime. But it's people with, people with exotic animals like lions, tigers. Bears. Bear, uh, deadly snakes. Vipers. There is Crazy a whole stuff. bunch of hillbilly looking people. Excuse me. And I'm not trying to be weird. I'm not, I'm not trying to be weird. I'm not trying to be weird. Trying to be racist all the But I ain't never seen no people like this. They they got they buying a lion lions in a horse trailer. And they got auctions with it in the po all in the in the boondock somewhere. And I'm like, no, it's in Ohio. I want to go. It's like, a, it's, it's like oh yeah, well, it's in Ohio. Animal, it's an exotic animal auction. You can Google it, but it's like top. Secret. I don't know if it's legal. If they don't. Well, they they're. That's true. Because he had that. They didn't want him filming in there. He right, filmed it. But they they're posting the exotic animal sale online. There's some exotic animals you can have, and then in I don't know half the states there's no law against owning exotic animals. But yeah, yeah you can't have a camera in there. But they were selling. Uh, chimpanzees and stuff it's like it's why uh, people own that lions in their backyard he had these lions in a horse trailer well he ended up putting them in the horse trailer and they were big lions i mean I real i mean escaped. one lions. of them escaped the nicer lion escaped and was in downtown it was a dayton ohio i think lion escaped he was on the freeway, the freeway. He was on the freeway. People Crazy. call it in there's a lion on yeah. the freeway and they like a lion she like, she's like it's a, a lion, lion. On the freeway, because the dude let it escape. And what you guys don't realize, and if you watch that documentary, mm -hmm. there's a lot more people that have exotic animals than you think. And and there's no law against exotic animals in most states. In most states. But California, it, everything's illegal. But yeah. like 20 minutes from where I lived in California, somebody in Aurora Hills had hundreds of uh like a deadly illegal exotic animals. Vi like I think a viper or some crazy venomous snake got out, and uh I don't know if these two kids were playing with it or they saw it. Told their mom they saw it, or mom saw it in a driveway, and it was like one of the most deadly snakes. Deadly in snake. The, world. Any, the bite would have, they would have been, that kid would have done in seconds. In garbage cans. It's crazy. Mini Mike, thanks so much for the super chat. For sure, I bring that smoke. Y'all know, y'all, hey, hey, I'm ready I'm for, I put more gas masks on. I'm ready for the smoke. Keep up the videos. I appreciate it. I, I missed a couple super chats. Did I miss? I think I missed my brother's super chat. I got to go back and find it. Uh, yeah, it's uh, called The Elephant in the Living Room on, on Amazon Prime. It's, so good. It's crazy good. It's crazy. We'll, we'll talk about how we met. Hold on one second. I think I missed the super chat from Mario. Okay, I missed this one too. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Captain Obvious. Thanks so much for super chat. Virginia's choke point for East Coast needed to control movement. Let's see. Oh, this is one I missed. I Mario, thanks so much for super chat, brother. I buy freedom seeds every week and a new toy every few weeks. Can't ever have enough freedom, freedom seeds. seeds. That's, what, That's what we should say. Freedom <laughs> seeds. There you go. Get as many freedom seeds as you can buy. I gotta go to get a thousand freedom freedom seeds. They yeah. they ran out. They, they didn't have enough freedom seeds for me, so I gotta get more. Uh May Lane said, Yes, your book blessed. I appreciate everything you guys do. I grew up in Thousand Oaks close to Agora. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Mm. Let's see. No, I'm just playing. I'm just pretty, but I know California it is. is it's it's, it's sad that it, they've gone crap. A uh, South uh bound life. Thanks so much for the super chat. I'm rocking that. Leather swag, I dig it, bro. I've been wearing. Let me tell y'all this real quick. We don't. I gotta make these available on the store. In the end, we win. We sold out of these, so I gotta. I gotta re up on these on the store. But we got. We got other leather bracelets on our on our, the Austin Tatum store. I have not taken this bracelet off for two years. When he sent me this bracelet, in the end, we win. I have kept this bracelet on for two years. I swim in it. I sleep in it. I take all my showers in it. I, I do everything with this. I never, I've never taken. I haven't taken it off. I'm surprised my forearm isn't isn't discolored. Look at that. I never take this off. I ride my bike with it. 
So it's a great quality. I love it. So people see me all the time. But anyway, we sell these on our store if you if you want one. How did how did me and Korean meet? This is this is gonna be the big this is gonna be the big thing. He stalked me. I'm gonna let her Instagram. tell her perspective, and I'm gonna tell mine. He stalked me. He Rebecca Holly, thanks so much for the super me. chat. Appreciate it. All right, go go for it. Who's this weirdo? Okay, so I think I I forget now. Either my mom sent me a video that he had made, or I saw him on Fox. You better News. tell the truth. Oh, baby, I'm, I'm I'm an honest person. Oh, honest I eight. saw him on Fox News. Um, so I searched his name on Instagram because I wanted to follow on Instagram. But his Instagram was trash. He had, I don't know, 800 followers. And it was all a bunch of selfies and pictures of his dinner and, like, his dog. I was trying to be a blogger. And I was like, "Why? what's up with this dude in selfies? He had so many selfies. To me, it was super cringe. And I was like, is this the same guy that was on Fox News? Like, is this the same guy? Is this the same guy? So I followed him, like, oh, let's see. Um, and then he messaged me, like. Hey, girl. No, I didn't. She <laughs> lying like a mud. What you, you messaged me. You no, bet. Did I message you? I think I must have messaged him like, hey, I'm not sure if it's you, but if it's you, I saw you on Fox News or I just saw yeah, my yeah, mom's yeah, video. Yeah. I forget. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. oh, my God, that's so awesome. Keep up the good work. Believe me, I was not yeah. trying to holler. Yeah. I was not trying yeah. to holler. She was like, dang. No. Look at that good. Look at that brother. That caramel. <laughs> she ain't nothing but caramel. Uh, no, to be honest, can I tell them what I thought? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, so I honestly thought he was a little corny. It was just a bunch of selfies. I thought mm, he lives in a little apartment in Tucson. Or would you live in Anthem? See, let he, me tell y'all. Women. His, and, so he was like, I'm a, I'm a little older than he is. He had like flags and like posters tacked to a wall. And it wasn't. It, and I was just like. Flag, tat. yeah. I feel like you have an American flag or like a Trump oh, American flag. flag. So, you don't want me to have American flag if you want to tack it on a wall, you put it in a garage or you put it in a frame in a house. So, I was just like, nah. it, so when I messaged him, it wasn't like, oh my god, oh, this might be my now. Nah, let me tell y'all, it was just like, I'm a conservative, lifelong conservative, but I didn't, you know, it's a small conservative circle. Let me tell y'all the truth, a few friends. So, I was like, no, I'm cool, I want to follow conservative people on social media. Um, it was a uh, 2015, I think, the election year of 2016 for Trump. So I was like, love it, black conservative. That's dope. That's super cool. Was not trying to holler. Torrent, Torrent, they got all in his feelings. No, no, no. Like, oh, Torrent, she likes me. Let me tell, let me, let me, let me help y'all women out it real was quick. Not like that. Let me help y'all women out. Torrent, thanks so much for the super chat. Like let me help y'all women like, out. Who's this little kid? I was. Let me let me say, I was corny. Let me tell y'all, I was corny. Because I was a police officer and I wasn't no hey, big baller. My dad was a no, police no, no, officer. No, 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 because you, you, y'all you, are alpha men. No, no, because I, I was, I was, I, I, I didn't, I didn't appear like I, I was successful. I had no money. I wasn't. I was just a police officer. I wasn't balling out of control. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't living the LA lifestyle. But I'm a good man. And see, when you get with a good man, or you could, you could see that you got a good man that have good morals. Yeah. He can be. He can. He can go to the top. I mean, there's plenty of men with good morals who are. Content with no, no, no. Good man, good, good man. That good morals, good abilities. I excelled as a police officer. Yeah, I excel at everything I do. No, I she didn't that, know that. I think that you were. I don't because you had you were moving, so you weren't a police officer anymore. Yeah, but you know I was a police officer because I was on Fox. When you saw me on Fox, I was, yeah. I was still a police officer. Let's see, Shane Mag. Thanks so much for super chat. Hey, brother, mm -hmm. I'm up in Mesa, coming on up for a chat. The Patriots the drink or a Patriot chat. Anything. And they drink whichever. Tomorrow, the deplorable show. You, you come to the deplorable. Come to the deplorable show yes, and holler at me. Come to the deplorable show, holler at me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I say. Holler at me, man. Holler at me. Um, but that's how we met. And then yeah. So then what happened? But I think we just we would chat. We chat all the time. We would, thought I was a fake account though. I thought. Let me tell y'all. Thought her, I was scamming him. I'm gonna tell you. Fishing. I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought about her account because. I wasn't really on IG. Mind you, I had a big YouTube. I mean, pretty much YouTube, Facebook, Twitter was okay. On yeah, well, my IG, that. I never used IG. And I was only an IG So person. she, I saw a picture and I was like, dang, that girl fine. I was like, there's no way that that fine girl is one a conservative. And that fine girl has one send me a, send me a message. This must be a, a catfish or this a fake profile. Hey. So no, no, let me say this. Let me Cash say this. At me. Let me go back. Let me go back. No, no, let me go back. Let me go back. Okay. Because before you messaged me, yeah. I had noticed that you followed me and I was tracking. 
I was tracking. Y'all, y'all know, y'all brothers Sounds know what cute. tracking is. Sounds I was cute. tracking. I was like, is she real? But I didn't, <laughs> I, I think I didn't follow you back or something. So I didn't really look through your pictures, but I saw mm. the profile picture. Mm. And I was like, this is a fake account. So I never paid attention to the account. I didn't even look at it. I didn't even click on it or nothing. I just didn't follow it. I said, this is a fake account. Ain't no way this fine girl following me for no reason. And then look at me now. She messaged me, and then I was like, "Oh, so she kind of cool." I invited her to a Dinesh Susi event. Her and her friend. But came. I feel like we had we had chatted a lot more over the. We chatted years. a little bit. We chatted a little bit here and there. But after the Dinesh Susi event, mm -hmm. we really was chatting, talking about relationships, yeah. telling each other about who we dated and yeah. why we but wouldn't date. Before the Dinesh Susi event, though, I had a thing in LA. Obviously, I was single. Where I was like, coffee is not a date. Coffee oh yeah, I remember that. This guy, he was like fifty something, messaged me. Coffee is a date. Can I take you to coffee? And I was like, I'm thirty some. You are fifty some. She liked the hood coffee rats. Coffee is. He wasn't a hood rat. No, no, you like the hood rats. So the one that say coffee is the decent oh, hold man. On, time out. I did not date hood rats. You like Let's them though. Get something straight. I did not. You like, like them, them though. I did not date them. No, no, hood rats don't take women on proper dates. To me, coffee is not a date. Coffee is a date. Coffee is not a date. Coffee is a day. I go to coffee. I would I would go to coffee for work. I would go to coffee for work. coffee is a day. I would go to coffee uh on the way to work or with a girlfriend after we go on a hike. Coffee was not a date to me. A LA day people is think that. a woman you want to get you no. want to put on a, a nice outfit. I go to coffee in this. Lululemon and a sweatshirt. I'm not meeting a man romant for a possible romantic something in Lululemon and a sweatshirt. No, you have there has to be that's why she's been single since she met me. <laughs> <laughs> there, there has, and then I grew you up and taught you how to be a man. Yeah, right. <laughs> you grew me up in a couple months. Now look, look, let, let me say but this. No, coffee is so I did a thing. I screenshotted it because I was offended. Coffee is not a date. I was like, bruh, you're wasting my time, sir. So I screenshotted it and I said, Is coffee a date? with like a poll. And that was my thing for weeks and months. Coffee's not a date. Hashtag coffee's not a date. Coffee is not a date. I am grown. I'm not in college. I'm not in high school. Coffee is not a date. And I don't, I didn't really go on dates with strangers. Like we would, I would have to meet you through someone. We have to connect somewhere. So we'd have to be like, okay, you're worth me getting dressed up, going out and giving you my time. So for me, coffee was not a date. Let me, um, let me, can I say, can I get my coffee as a coffee date? coffee is cheap. It's a cop-out. It's like, can I get myself a date. Yeah. I am not the kind of woman that was like, okay, oh, oh my God, please thank you for getting me a cup okay, of coffee. Okay, can I, can I talk about the coffee mm. from a man's perspective? Coffee not a date, lady. Coffee from a man's perspective. When mm. you don't know whether the woman is worth the dime and you don't know what, you, you ain't finna spend, you're not finna take her to Red Lobster, you're not finna Red Lobster, nope. you're not finna take her to get lobster and all this other nope. stuff. You need to, you need to, somebody said a pre-date. Nope. Well, for me, it depends on what you're interested in, right? Women, I, I believe, and this is not Korean because she's perfect, but <laughs> women from LA, and she's not from LA, she's from Hanford. So women from LA, and this is why they single for, for their rest for their whole life. But it's not even and they get LA, sad. Let me, let, me, let me just say, let me just say this. Let me say this. They say coffee isn't a date. If a dude, let me tell you this. I think that a date is whatever you're interested in. One of my best dates that I went on before Korean existed. She wasn't alive Excuse at that me. point. She was she wasn't even alive yet. So my best date was I went hiking with somebody on a date. We went on a date. We went hiking. To me, that's like a second. Or no, no, that's a hike. We, we met each other. I know it was weird. You know, some people may be afraid to do that, especially with a guy you don't know. But we went hiking on the first date. It was fun. I had a chance to see what kind of person she was. You can see what kind of work after the person has. I can see what she looked like. She looked like. I can see what she look, what her body looked like. I can get. I can see it all. We can talk. We can look at. I can see. I can got the whole picture mm -hmm. of who you are. And you're if not afraid going, to go if out. We're going hiking on a first date. It's not a date. We're homies. We can go on a proper date. See a date. We enjoy each other. We have a good time. We can go on. a See, hike but what about these lame women you waste your money on all year long? You go on a date with a woman I and you agree. waste your money. I agree. You guys need to do better vetting. I totally agree. You shouldn't just take any woman out because every woman is not a. A dinner date, drop some coin kind of woman. You, I know that I am dinner material. Coffee's not a date. Too much. Listen, this, this is what I say. We we are, we, we still don't agree. Women with it. who think coffee is a date take those girls to coffee. We still we still don't we still don't agree with it. <laughs> I, I I just personally think, and y'all hear what Korean said. I personally think it depends on what you like. Yeah. It, it, if a guy, I, I think I, I I personally believe if you like coffee, mm -hmm. it's respectful for a guy to take you to a really nice. 
coffee spot, not take you to Starbucks. That's not coffee. They have joints that they have real, legit, organic coffee, fresh, brewed, right on the spot. They have treats. You can sit down and you're not putting on a front. Like the problem with dating today in some cases is that people, if I got a lot of money, I'm going to take you somewhere really nice. I'm putting on a front. That don't mean I really like you. Unless that's just where you go and where you like to go. That don't mean I really like you or whatever. I'm just putting on a front. That's true. But let me, let, me, let me answer your super chats because they running low. Let's see. Uh, baby, can you read them for me? Jay, thanks so much for super chat. said, I think I met her in Isla Vista in 02 at a college party. Is this true? Met you? Isla Vista, I think that's been uh, Santa Barbara. I mean, I don't. That could be true. I feel like two of my best guy friends went to Santa Barbara or UCSB. So I know in 2002, I hadn't moved to San Diego yet. So I feel like I possibly did a couple times, but I was like a punk rock skater chick. Dexter George, thanks so much for the super chat. I'm sorry. We, I'm told we got to get to this. Okay. Coffee is a date and you adore him. Admit it. He's a good Christian. Oh my God. I'm obsessed with him. I worship the me. ground. She don't, worship, she don't worship the ground. I, I love him. I can't she, live without him. If I she worshiped him. the ground I walked on, oh. I'll break up with her because she better worship I, Jesus. I live to fulfill his every need. Yeah, right. Home. She lying to y'all, but she be yelling at me all day. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Rebecca, thanks so much for another super chat. I appreciate it. He is the best, though. Hands down, any man I've ever met or dated besides, I would say, like my grandpa and my dad, he's the best man. I am so thankful. I am so lucky. You are like 99.99% listen, listen. of everything I want in a man. If she told me, if she, if she I, told me, is, I'm so lucky. If she told me she wanted coffee, I would take her to the nicest coffee yeah. spot. I will be kind to her. We'll be able to talk. Yeah. Like, let me tell you this. I think when you get older, mm -hmm. when you're older, like I'm not saying older like in your 60s, 70s. I'm saying older Are you like saying I'm old. I'm saying older like in dating life. Like you dating at in your late 30s, I, it's, if you if you if you not already have kids or nothing and you dating in your late 30s, I think it's more difficult for you. That's all I would say. It's more difficult. See, but I I, I liked being single. But, I enjoyed going out on But you got to be purposeful. So for me, you can't date like you're 20. See, we agree. Well, we disagreed on this, but like the week or two before we realized that we were like totally in love, we got in a huge, not an argument about this same subject. And I was like crying. And you was, cried? Yeah, I was crying. You don't remember? I was so upset. Cause you were basically, you were like, sis, you old. Oh, you're, old. you're not going to, I broke the, me. I broke the age code. Oh, you know, y'all like at your age, don't you think you should be like gentlemen. dating with a purpose? And gentlemen, I was like, gentlemen, Ooh. I had to call her. Listen, oh, I was so hot. Le I was hot. Let me tell y'all this. I had to call it for what it was. I know it was kind of hurtful, but that's how I feel. I said, you may not have faith in God. I have faith in God. When God sees fit that I need to get married and have kids. He will put a man right in but, front but, of me, but, and that's my man. Well, this is what I was and saying. That's this, what God did. This, but you did, you did have to go through a lot to get here. So you could have <laughs> did this. Didn't. You could have did it like hundred years ago. And you didn't, Mister Purposeful Dating. I, I did. I did go. I did go through a lot. I didn't date that much though, but I did go through a lot. So what? What I will I didn't say. Take that much either. I didn't say you did. Oh, okay. I'm just saying I wouldn't. I didn't do a lot of dating. You know, I had some people that I. I Talk to or whatever, and I was trying to be consistent with he a few running, people. Running through. I wasn't. I wasn't running. I wasn't running. I, I know. I ain't got my 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 view ain't got that miles. many miles on it. So miles. let's see. Miles on that view. Oh, you <laughs> won't talk about no miles. <laughs> hey, I'm older than you, but you. Oh, you can't. Miles. You can't add because you old miles. you got miles. <laughs> Y'all know, y'all know. Let's see, let's see some super chats real quick. I know I missed a couple super chats. I'm okay, sorry. Okay, you made some good points. Brandon Coffee possibly could be a date. It's not a date. It's a date if you're. Okay, it's a second or a third no. date, but I feel like effort should be it put. No, no, in on the it, first you could put effort. It depends on who you are. Like hiking was a really good first date. And how I, did that work out with you and Ogre? Well, because she was a liberal and she didn't like Trump that much, and I said, Pfft. so. But <laughs> beyond that, she, I got a chance to know her. It was really, I mean, it was really good. But some people like coffee. Yeah, I, I see, love coffee. I don't I like going. Like see, women like going on dates because you got to Because a man pay for it, they got to break their pocket. And they haven't even got a chance to get no, to know no, you that no, way. No, no, no. You don't have to do dinner. We can go for a glass of wine, but I feel like I you, don't you, wanna get I don't you ain't go, finna you ain't finna go you, you ain't finna you, go on a me, glass of wine. Let me break like, it down even more. I work to what five, six, seven o'clock at night. I'm not gonna get coffee at seven, eight, nine at night. You'll need the night, your morning time. I'm gonna meet someone for a date at seven a.m. Yeah, meet them on work. a Saturday, Saturday morning. Okay, on a Saturday, I don't want to wake up and leave my house. Get ready, leave my Thank house. Thank God you met me before you eight a.m., nine a.m., ten a.m. to meet someone to coffee on no, Saturday no, no. mornings after working sixty hours a week. 
I like to sleep in. I like to enjoy my Nespresso. But she nap. went on a coffee day. Getting up. She went on a coffee day. I did one time. Explain to them why you went when you went on a coffee day. Because he was super fun and super. What funny. kind of car was he driving? He may or may not have been driving. What was it? A Ferrari. <laughs> I go on a coffee day. I go on a. I go to. I could have a date at a funeral home so if thing. somebody driving a Lamborghini. Here's the thing. He. Um, Baby, let's do your super chats real okay, quick. Okay. Anytime that the other woman meet for one on one conversation, it's a form of courting. But I feel like that's I do, I agree. easy for guys. Torian, like, thanks. Hold on, hold on. Torian, thanks so much for the super chat. Uh, what's you this? Gotta, you gotta show a little. Dark cool. Blaze, thanks so much for the super Dating chat. Go ahead. Now it's horrible at 30 plus because radical feminists being offended about uh, yeah. everything. No, yeah. because if you're a woman like you, no, that's, I think that's a man that's saying oh, that. That's true. There are women out there who are like, mm, that's crazy. But you, you, you open my core door, you hold the door open. You're a little picky you pick though. Up the tab, you're a good woman. You be an alpha male, you do the male, I'll be the female. You, I'll you're cook, good. I'll clean, I'll you, cater to you. You're a good woman, but God had to do this for you, right? God had to do this for you. And the guy had to do it for me, too. So this is what I'll say. Young people out here trying to date, be purposeful. Be purposeful in your 20s. Just be purposeful. you and keep your legs closed. Be, be purposeful in your 20s. Don't waste your time dating people like that. Don't waste your time. Know what you want. Think about marriage early. Don't think about marriage at 36, 37, 39, 40, yeah. 45. This is where we disagree. Now, you may be in a position where you have gotten a divorce or whatever. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. But, like, don't take it for granted. Now, this is what I will say. This is what I'm going to say. Because you want to be established and you want to have something to give your children. You don't want to just get married to somebody you ain't got nothing to offer. So make sure you establish and that you're actually doing something. But young, young people. Don't think that you got the rest of your life to do these things. As a man, it's harder and harder and harder and harder and harder to date the longer you go. Because the later in life, you don't want to. What's the point? What's the point? When you 40 some year old, you're a 40 year old man. What's the point? The point of being married is to have a family and all that stuff. When you 40 and you ain't got no family, and you ain't got none of that stuff. You like for me. I'll be like, what's the point? Why would we okay. get married to somebody? Okay. I can I, just go ahead and I disagree my with him. Let me speak some life and give some No, from a woman perspective. I'm 40s. talking about what men feel oh, like. Oh, see, so I was raised, my, my parents got married. I think they met in the military. They got married. Didn't work out. But So I was raised, my brother and I were raised with my mom 90% of the time. Single mom, super strong, super smart. And she said, Corinne, I couldn't tell you. I've heard it a million times from my mom. Don't get married until you're 30. Don't think about marriage until you're 30. 30, 30, 30. Don't get married until you're 30. Don't get married until you're 30. So in my 20s, I was not thinking about marriage. I mean, a little bit here and there I was, but I just thought, no, I'm way too young. I tra I went to school. I got a degree. I traveled. I started my, you know, established my career, figured out what you want to do, where you want to go. Um, I've, I've seen a lot of the world. You do that I with your the husband. Best. Oh, that's true. I had the best time. I also know, like, in my 20s, I was a little bit of a hot mess at the beginning. So the people I dated, if I would have married them, it would have been a disaster. See, see. So I feel like. I was not fit to get married in my 20s. Maybe in my late 20s, yes. Um, but when I was like 30, maybe 29, 30, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get married. And then I, for the next five years, I was like, what's wrong with me? See, see, I'm, I'm telling y'all, <laughs> I don't put a date on it, but be, be intentional. Yeah. Because everybody know you dating. You dating, you smashing. Most of y'all. But then I feel like if you're so only looking like to get married, to get married, to get married, you're gonna be like, oh, this is the guy we gotta get married. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I say you look. What you should do is you should look at it and saying, this is what I want in a husband. These are my criteria. Yeah. I ain't talking to you unless you got some of this True. stuff. Like, like yeah. you don't have to be so strict to say he has to be six five. Oh, if yeah, he's no, six no, no, four, no, no, no. I would no, never talk to him. No. You gotta let and God work that. That is one thing that I tell women is don't have a list of the characteristics, integrity. You know, he's not a cheater. He's funny. He likes you know similar interests. Um, but no, I, I did not have a lit, like a, a physical list. I dated guys who were shorter than me. I dated guys who were way taller than me. And I didn't like none of them. Um... But see, this is what I'm gonna say. It's okay to but have. You never know. And I feel like I got what I want. Cause I think you are so cute. Well, you, are you so got cute. me cause I, 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 I wanted you. you so that's it. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> so, but I'm saying You're like, welcome. like, like don't compromise, but yeah. don't be so strict that you are crazy. Yeah. Don't say I want a six two. He got to be six two or else, because he may be six one and three quarters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you just you, you you know you're doing too much. But don't compromise on attraction. Attraction, yeah. To me, attraction is forty percent of your relationship. It's 
80% of your relationship when you first start out, when you're young, the older you get, it, it diminishes, but it has to be there. Yeah. Don't sit up and say, if people lie to themselves, they go, I don't care about looks. But I, I think men and women are different. Don't do that. I feel like Even women I, don't do I that. I be attracted to someone's personality, someone's Yeah, but after energy. a while, if they, if I, if, if I was here, think of who she ended up with. She ended up with an attractive man. She didn't end up with some big, crazy looking dude, fat dude on here like this. You know, she she but ended up she ended up with an attractive guy. You never. Gonna... But I feel like I could have, and I would have. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Like, no, you wouldn't. Have. No, you wouldn't. Now. No, you wouldn't. Have. Th so that you man. Tell me, you think the guys I dated were cute? You were messing up. You were messing up. You compromised. <laughs> See, let me tell you this. But she, I didn't think it was a compromise. She compromised. To me, I was like, because you. Ain't... I liked them. Man, you ugly. If you if you ugly to That's the person. That's relative. No, no. If you That's ugly. That's a relative term. If you I ugly mean, to I don't the like person. All that look stuff. If you ugly to a person, if yeah. they look at you and they like, dang, you ugly, but I like your personality. Mm -hmm. Your relationship will yeah. not last. The looks you, you are gotta... relative. Because like the. No, no, I know, I know it room, is. I'm saying to you. you. Right, but like the hottest person in the room. After you meet them, their personality, their energy is can be the biggest turnoff. Where it's like you are not attractive. Yeah, so with I men, it's like, more physical. Yeah. As a man, find a woman that you are physically attracted yeah. to. Not they don't have to be the, the, the most physically attractive woman but that you've ever met in your like, life. Fellas, for you, it's a lot easier to get a girl because you just have to like make us laugh and what if you ain't funny? Entertaining. What if you ain't funny? Oh, yeah, yeah. What if you broke? Well, you, whole, you broke single. because you're lazy or nah, nah. broke because you're gonna be single. Broke because you single. Let me tell y'all this. Korean ain't like this, she She's perfect. So judgmental. Korean ain't like this, she perfect. Brothers, I'm telling you, you got to be accomplished. A lot of you guys, not everybody. Yeah, that's true. You got to be accomplished before you actually find a woman that's meant for you to, to be with you. I feel like the older you get, yes. Because if you're in your 20s, you can be starting out. If you mess around and you get a woman at your entry level, mm -hmm. y'all ain't going to make it. It's true. You ain't going to make it. True. Most, most. Some of you will. Some of you are married to your high school sweetheart. You meet a woman at your entry level, you ain't going to make it. Because your interest... And your perception will change. Your value will change. When you are 18, 19, 20 years old, you're in college, you ain't got nothing. No sense. Certain women will come after you. And those women, you will be attracted to them. But you own entry-level women, right? When you start making it now in life. Now you speaking truth, boy. When you start speaking. making it in life. Preach, Pastor. When you start making it in life, those women that wouldn't even talk to you. Like Corinne, she wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> They're gonna be calling you. So but don't hold on, time out. That's true. But I would if I didn't like you when you were broke, I'm not gonna like you when you got money. If that, you met true. if if you that have met true. if you have met because I've dated plenty of men with tons of money where after one uh, lose my number. Women probably I don't can relate care to how it. much money you have. If it's not there, it's not there. True. If you didn't have it when you were broke, you ain't gonna have it when you got money. That's true. What's that, baby? Mario. Okay, so Mario. Be, remember the first time we met at we met Karen at TPUSA headquarters. My son Jacob asked who she was. I said that's Brandon's publicist. He said, "Yeah, right." Her eyes says she loves him. <laughs> oh, the little boy. I just boy. have some like really twinkly green eyes. Manipulative. When I look in her eyes, I'll be like, <laughs> "What do you want me to buy for you today, baby?" Buy me, buy me. No, I'm playing. Go ahead. What's this? Um, what's this? I don't date right now because in LA it's nothing but liberal hipsters. Very hard to find a good conservative girl. I'd rather be single than be with a lip. Um, I know a few conservative girls. If you find me on Instagram, I'll send you their info. It depends on what you want, man. It depends on what you want. I and, and you must be out there. You must be in a, an environment, a, either a college environment, or you working on some. You must live in a certain area. There's a lot of conservative women in California. A ton. It's just that there's a lot of liberal ones too. And, and I think sorry, most conservatives in California, especially women, they're not super outspoken. I wasn't in LA until I knew like. I would so move. We were together, and I was like, no, "I would move, bro." Out the back. If you can move to another state, if you can move to another state, like your job allow you to move, if you're an entrepreneur, there's tons of conservatives in LA, though. It, women, but pretty, but pretty you but, but 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 you gotta think, you gotta think. There's kind you go to Texas, you go, yeah, you go to some of these southern states. It's filled with them. Fish, all you see is conservative women. I mean, yeah. I, they all got sense. They go to church. They did. You know, you in LA, you may get a couple conservatives, but There's they a lot of good women they water down because they ain't got nothing to connect with. Because conservative women got liberal friends, you it's yeah. hard to get a conservative. 
Because even Korean, her friends are cool. Her best friends are cool. But I don't think they're as conservative as Korean is. Mm-hmm. And somebody like me that's Trump, 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 you you could never, you you won't get along with, with them in a relationship. So there, You'll get along with them as friends. But there's a lot of people that aren't into politics that are okay with someone being Trump. They, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm going to tell y'all. I'm warning y'all. No. Don't date nobody. Back in the day, you could do that. 2020? 20, don't date nobody that don't agree with you. Them. No, nah, you don't don't date nobody you thinking you're gonna sway them. Don't date nobody thinking you can sway them. Cause these people, these cause then they go around their co-workers and then they throw you under the bus. Yeah, Brandon was the first conservative I ever dated in my life. Yeah, and that's why she was single until now. So, <laughs> you know, that to me, you gotta go with the person that's connected to you. Like conservatism means a lot to your relationship. Don't don't think that you can just say, oh, we just don't agree on politics. You got to agree with how to take care of kids. You got to agree yeah. with policies that you're going to vote for. If you live in a house with somebody, you, and then people can do it. I don't. I just don't recommend it. You live in a house with somebody, and y'all can't even talk about policy. Y'all completely disagree. Y'all go to the voting booth, and you vote in different in different interests. How are you vote? Your vote yeah. cancels each other. How are you voting your household for higher taxes? Hey, think about this. If I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm like, Trump talking about doing what? The corporate tax? I need to. I want to vote for Trump, and then my wife Bernie, turn Bernie, around, Bernie. turn around, and say, "I vote for higher taxes." She wants to tax us more. I, I'm like, "You are, you are against me in this relationship. Like, you are voting against me. True. You want all our money to be gone." But like, my mom is super conservative, super duper conservative. Yeah, and my stepdad is. Well, he ain't not. He ain't he's no like liberal. an old school Democrat. He's not no he's, liberal. He's, 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 but they're like this, they're like the best match ever, and they're the same. But he's like he's an NRA member, and I I think I asked him, yeah, so he's like, not like Democrat is an NRA member, and he was like, Oh, the kind that'll shoot you. Um, so I see, like back in the day, you like could do an that. old school Democrat. You could do that back in the day. Yeah. Conservatives and, and yeah. Republicans, I mean conservatives and Democrats weren't too they I don't think they were that far apart. They had right. principles. Right. Now oh. you I, that's the girl that I went on a date. Like, I went on a girl speak Chinese. I went on a date with the and girl. I speak no Chinese. I went on a day with the girl hiking. I liked everything about it. I thought she was uh, so good we were looking. Friends then and I followed no, no, him. No, no. And I, watched, I saw the pictures you posted no, on that. Yes. No, no, baby. You got yes. the wrong person. You got the no. wrong person. No, you got the Didn't wrong person. Didn't you carry a flag when you guys No, came? wrong person. Oh, okay, all right. Wrong person. <laughs> wrong person. Right. The girl the girl that I went on a hike with the first date, she was- So now we know what his first date She was is. way- He's taking all the girls she, on hikes. She, no, well, that girl, I knew that girl. She, she was way more attractive than the girl that you saw in that picture. She was really cool. Mm-hmm. She was she was super sweet. She's a nurse, wasn't she? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Girl, you try, she's trying to figure out all the girls that I used to talk to. No, nah, this girl, she she was a uh she did, she worked at a uh she was a she, she was, was a stripper. Nah, I don't call it stripper, <laughs> I call it athletic stretching. No, I'm just fine. No, she was a she she worked at like a, a yoga studio. Okay. And she would do like I don't know. Y'all know how people hold each other up and they hold each other and they pose with each other. She was doing stuff like that. Oh, now I know why you wanted to take. I, that. I, I really liked it because I like women that are athletic or whatever. So mm-hmm. I liked her, whatever. And then the the the, the, the homosexual homosexuality came up, and that's why she didn't want to she didn't want to talk to me no more because she had asked me what I think about President Trump. I said I like President Trump. She didn't. I said that's fine. She said not only do I like the man, I'm the president of his fan club. I said I like the man. He cool, but I hey. You each his own. We got our own lives. And then she said, uh, I told her, I'm a Christian. She go, I'm spiritual. I said, and that was, a, that was my and first mistake. Brandon turned around and he That's my first left mistake. Cause she, she had to Uber home. Cause she was, she looked so, she was so, I was, I was looking at attraction. I was so attracted to it. I was like, maybe she ain't that bad. Maybe has I that, need to stop being so strict. Has that worked out for you before? Nah, it, the, attraction is the worst thing ever happened there. So are you saying that you weren't attracted to me? I'm saying before you, baby, before you. It's like it's like A D. It's, like, it's like it's like B C and A D. Okay. Before Christ and after Christ. Before Korean okay. and after Korean. Okay. All right. Okay. Before Korean, it was something different. Uh, we just because before we started dating, we were friends. So he would tell me these stories about, oh, I thought she was so pretty. She was so pretty. She was so pretty. It all started out with like, oh, she was so pretty. Yeah, that ain't work yeah, out no good. Sense. That ain't work out that good. Uh, no. Next super chat. My wife is y'all make sure I hit the like button. My wife is saved conservative. Without that, I'd still be single. My wife is saved conservative. After I still be single. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Same. Nick, God bless. 
<laughs> the strippers <laughs> in the USA. Hey. hey, man, you gotta make money somehow. I don't agree with it, but hey, marriage. Uh, Big Al said, "Marriage is dead. Peace and freedom is more important than companionship." L let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this to speak to that. I don't. Agree. I believe that a man can reach his greatness only with the woman beside him. I mean, I'm just saying. I agree. The, the, now you can be a great man. But to reach your full potential, your pinnacle, your pinnacle, God has made a person for you to reach your pinnacle. You can still be great and be single, but to be your greatest potential, you God has made another person out there. Now, I will say this. It's better to be single than to be dating these hood rats. It's better to be single than to be dating in yeah. a relationship that's not, that's not conducive for you. Yeah, that's like taking more from you than it's adding value to your life because sure. if, if, if if i wasn't with corinne and i was single i He'd wouldn't date I, I wouldn't somewhere. i wouldn't date anybody you know why because i'm too busy trying to succeed mm -hmm. and if and if and, and dating is a distraction when you're really trying to be successful it really it's is true. it's true and you can accomplish way more you can save way more money without taking these little knuckleheads on a date true. you can accomplish way more less stress everything if you're single true. now the problem with being single if you're a christian is you can't be smashing and dashing. You can't have both. You well, can't be single and want to smash and dash. Gr grinning and sinning. You can't be grinning and sinning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the reason. I mean, you married, you can be smashing. You ain't dashing. You smashing and hanging out. You know what I'm saying? For the rest of your life. But you and you ain't grinning. You grinning and winning. You ain't grinning and sinning. You know what I'm saying? You smashing and crashing. You're not smashing and dashing. You're grinning and winning. You're not grinning and sinning. That you put it on a t-shirt. That's funny. That's when you're married. So it's hard because it's hard to be, you know, especially if you wouldn't save your whole life and you have been exposed to emotions and sexual relations, trying to be single for the rest of your life. You're essentially calling yourself a eunuch. You, you're literally calling you're yourself an incel. incel, whatever. But they, they are incels because they soft. Uh, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. While we got you on here, because we got 800 people on here, we, everybody else missed it. We want to just tell you, make sure you visit the Outstanding store. Visit the Outstanding store. A tremendous amount of y'all have gone to the store to the tunes of thousands have purchased on our store. We appreciate it. It, it, it is a blessing. Yeah. And it's not just a blessing because finances, because to be honest, we make quality stuff made in America. I might have mine on too, I think. All of this stuff, it, it costs us a lot of money. I can't so see it. we don't we don't get the we don't get the we don't we're not making money in office on this stuff, but we are giving y'all something. Right. Some of y'all donate through Super Chat. Some of y'all donate direct donations. It's it's good to donate. You see the channel growing, you know, obviously all of those things. But our store, you can get something from it. Right. You you, you pay twenty dollars or something and you, you get, get something, something from our return. store. And let me say this real quick before we jump to something Wait, someone else. Someone said squirting and chirping. <laughs> squirting and squirting and hurting. What? Squirting and chirping. Oh, God. Help us. So let me talk about this rewards program on our store because I really want everybody to sign up for what they can because it's, oh, a, it's yeah. a tremendous way for you to. I'm going to give you all an example real quick. I'm going to talk about it real quick. Only for y'all. You know what? Baby. Yeah. Baby. Baby. Just for just for these people right here. Y'all, he right. Just for these he, people right here. Last minute, Larry. Nothing hey, is I'm planned. spontaneous. He's right late right to right everything. Now. Right now, He's right now. He's late to everything. No, I'm not. She made this me late. This live was in his own house, and he was 15 minutes late in his own no, house. Was it? He's late oh, okay. at his own house because she wasn't ready. She Lies. she she wanted to change the shirt. Lies. We had to get some water. Lies. Anyway, baby, Lies. give me give me a discount code. I, I want to give a discount to people that's watching right now, right now for the people watching right now. It's an hour. It's 800 people watching. An hour in, these people right here. I want to bless them. All right, this has been fun. Ten percent. Okay. Ten percent discount. Okay, what should the code be? Code should be, uh, I don't know. What should the code be? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Big Al, what do you say, Brandon? Your greatness is not based on a woman. We find discount code coffee and on. No, we ain't doing all that. It's too much. Too much writing. We can put discount. Give me, give me this. What discount code should we use? What discount code should we use? Y'all let us know. Late. Somebody said winning. I feel like you're it ain't late. Time. The live stream start when I started. Yeah, 
the, the, the Kev, uh, thanks so much for the super chat, Trump 2020. 7 p.m. I'll be late to his, Nick, he will be, I'll be late to my own funeral. Brandon will be late. Nick, to Nick are you Brandon black? Is late to his own house. Are you black, he Nick? Be. Because we might be on CPT. And see, people like this don't understand what color you, people you time guys, is. It makes me anxious. Makes she be late too. We were going to the station the other day. She in there putting makeup on and stuff, and it took her an hour to get ready. Come on, man. You be late too. And he won't get ready until we're 10 minutes late, and then he will get in the shower. Because I've been to a shower and be done, and she's still over there. That's not true. Somebody okay. said, let's see, okay. coffee. Coffee. Discount all coffee. coffee. Discount code coffee, 10% off the store. I don't know how to do super chats. I don't know how to do super chat. Rebecca, you 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 sent us a whole bunch of super chats. I appreciate it. So look, 10% off of the store, which is a pretty good amount, man. It's a pretty good amount. Mm -hmm. But let me tell y'all the rewards program. So while you're watching, you want to get 10% off the store. You put it in a discount code coffee, you'll get 10% off the store. But let me explain the rewards to you. We 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 just started a rewards program on a store. So this will help you get 10% off and then 10% off and then 10% off. We, we did this for y'all. So the rewards program is on the store. You visit the store. There's a little red T at the bottom. You click on that. You sign up for the rewards. A thousand points will get you 10% off your next purchase. And I'm starting y'all off with like 500 points if you just do what the reward system says. All you got to do is sign up. That's 200 points. You follow me on, follow the Australian store on Facebook. That's 100 points. Follow on Instagram. That's 100 points. Follow on Twitter, that's 100 points. Then if you go, your know, sign up is two. And then if you share the store link on the social media, that's 50 points. If you add up all the points, you start out with 600 points just for signing up. Just for signing up. You're at 600 points. All you need is 400 more points. And so 10 points for every dollar you spend. And you'll see all that on there. It's all, it's all in the thing. You can read it and it's find like out. Sephora, but better. So pretty much what you do, you'll get 10% off your next purchase if you did all the stuff that don't cost you nothing and you spent $40 on our store, your next purchase will be 10% off. Yeah. Now it goes up if you get 3,000 points, it's 30% off the store, you can keep going up. But you sign up for that rewards program, it's a no-brainer to do it because even if you haven't bought anything yet on the store, if you sign up for the rewards program and you just do all that sharing and stuff, you already start out with 600 points and then you buy some and you're good to go. Yeah, it's very cool. Also, we do a referral program. In the referral program, if you buy something, it's going to an indication going to pop up and say, do you want to refer this to your friends? Now, I don't know if, if I'm going to completely lose money on this, but I'm just doing it anyway. We'll find out. If you share a link, it's designated to you. You share it with a friend. They get 10 percent off. And when they purchase, you get 10 percent off on your next purchase. So you share a link with your friend to get 10 percent off and then you'll get 10 percent off on the back end. That's a no. That's a no brainer. And that's with the points plus re plus rewards from sharing and sharing with your friends. I don't know what this is going to do to our business, but I'm doing it for you. It's a, it's a no brainer. Go in there and sign up. Even if you don't buy nothing today, sign up, do all that other stuff. You'll start out with at least 600 points. Mm -hmm. What does uh, PLE say? It says, am I crazy being atheist yet a conservative? I got your MAGA hat and been wearing it everywhere. No, I feel like I don't. Like I don't want to say you're crazy to be. I don't say. I wouldn't say you're crazy to be an atheist. I would be crazy to be an atheist. After all that I've experienced with God, and if I were to say God didn't exist, I would be crazy. Mm -hmm. Everybody has experiences. Yeah. I, I believe that there is a God. I don't believe that there is no God. I do also believe atheism. Uh, atheism is a religion, just like Christianity is a religion, because you have to have faith that there's no God. You have to have faith that there's no God. You know what I'm saying? Just like you have to have faith that God exists, you have to have faith that there's no God as well. Because there's so many material things that we have seen that allude to a higher power. And I will say this, Christianity, in my personal opinion, is the closest to God. I wouldn't even, if I, as an atheist, if you ever want or are curious about Jesus, I wouldn't even go to a church. I wouldn't start out in a church. I'll get an ESV Bible and I'll read Genesis until it gets boring. I just read Genesis to get boring. Once it get boring, I'll read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the New Testament of the Bible. And then you can decide whether you think Jesus is real or not. You can decide whether you think God is real or not. And that, that's my whole take on it. The burden ain't on me. 
I can only say so much. God created the heavens and the earth and all this other stuff. God has the burden to prove. And I believe God will prove it to you every time. It's true. Let's see. I got these restrooms so bad. I think we're going to end the live stream. Let me let me put this code in here. 10%. Coffee. Come. Use. <clears throat> All right, let's see. All right. Uh oh, my name is Diops Tatum, so it tagged it. That's weird. Uh let's see. What is that? Babes, babes. Babs, babs. Babs, babs. babs. Uh, evolution. Well, I can't life. read. Help me, God. Go ahead. Evolution does not explain consciousness. It's true. Yeah, and it's a lot of other weird things. Like, evolution don't explain Order. why people... Evolution doesn't explain beauty, right? Why do you look up in the sky and you look at it and you think it's beautiful? Why? It's just a blue sky. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's nothing that it does. It's, 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 subcon it's a subconscious connection with the environment. Why do you think a flower is beautiful? You know, you think about animals... And there's no way of you telling that they think that when they walk outside, they're like, oh, it's so beautiful out here. You know what I'm saying? But humans have a have a subconscious connection to the environment. Korean said uh, structure, you know, the Big Bang Theory, boom, everything. Chaos turns into complete order. I mean, order that so happen. perfect mm -hmm. that men still can't understand. Mm -hmm. How does this sponge in the top of your head? React. How does it? How was it built? How does it? It just somebody think an organism just kind of built. And it's, it's you got memories, you got you got feelings, you got emotions, you got spirituality. I mean, you got all of these things that are in this little sponge that nobody can figure out how it actually works. Oh, you were talking about our brain. I thought you were talking about your hair. Like, uh, uh, about? <laughs> all right, we finna get out here. She's trying to clown your boy hair. I love your hair. This cur it's curly. I love it. It's like a it's like a chihuahua. Not a chihuahua, it's like a, a shih tzu. Curly. All right, man. We love y'all. We appreciate it. Um, y'all write in the comment section on the actual live post and let me know y'all like when me and Korean go live. I'm pretty sure some people like to hear me rant and just be crazy. Should me and Korean have our own relationship channel? I think put put a one. I give good advice. Put a one if you think me and Korean should have our own relationship channel. Put a two if you think if you think we tripping. I feel like there's a lot of trolls in here, though. We'll see. We'll see, baby. The, the, the truth will prevail. It's true. I don't understand why people who aren't, who don't like you, follow you. Because they just like to me. write mean comments. Because they like me. I don't know how someone couldn't like. They you. like me. They just don't know how to express it, right? They wonder why I make them feel incompetent. It's because of them. It's not me. They're feeling that way because they feel that way. It's not because I'm doing something. Yeah, you're like a mirror of their... It's a mirror, man. They look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. They're self but they can't stop looking at it because they know eventually they want to be something Look different. at all those ones. Oh, God. Oh they God. like me. Mike, what's your thoughts on the premarital sex? Thoughts on premarital sex? Don't man, let me, let me tell you this. Let me don't tell you this. It. People don't are going to do it until the cows come home. Don't do it. It ain't worth it, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Like, think about it. Everybody on here has had premarital sex. It's not worth it. Like, think about it. Has it been worth it? No. For you to have a good time for, I don't know, a couple minutes, hour, I don't know what, you, I don't know what your <laughs> game like, but after it's over, it's over. Mm -hmm. All these people that you've dated and you've been engaged with and doing things with have yielded no results. Some of them you don't even talk to no more. Mm -hmm. What did it benefit you? Drama, and then, stress. And then you mess around. And some of y'all done had a kid with somebody who you can't stand. I'm not going to confirm it or not. That's my situation. But it's expensive. You have a kid with somebody. And then some of y'all brothers on child support getting jugged. Can't see your kids. I can't confirm it or not that I'm in part of that. But some of y'all I know getting jugged. Yeah. I, don't think, I, I don't think I'm getting jugged as bad as I know some other people. 
I pay whatever I've been paying since my son was a very little kid. I ain't okay, missed. I, I won't like miss. Question. Brandon, can you explain why a woman help can help or a woman helps you achieve greatness? Greatness and peace can be achieved without a woman. Well, I agree with it, that, but I agree with him. Okay, so let but me explain. Point. Let me explain to you. You got to you got to you got to perceptionalize what greatness is, right? Mm -hmm. Greatness internally. Yeah, everybody finds their greatness internally by yeah. themselves. I'm talking about achieving God's mission. Like the mission is bigger than the person. It's bigger than the individual. It's legacy building. So you think about this. You say, God wants you to have a legacy, right? He wants you to have a legacy. And a, many of y'all, it's only, it's only a small amount of people who cannot have children. But God created man and woman so you can pass down a legacy. And a legacy with your DNA in it. A DNA that he only gave you another person. And when he puts y'all together, that legacy will continue. Also, you got to think. Men and women are very different. Men have a way of thinking. And women have a way of thinking. And I personally believe if you with the woman, if you with the woman that's for you, not just a random woman, yeah. because random women to get on your nerves all day long. But I you don't get on your nerves. She never get on my nerves. She's perfect. <laughs> I've never got, I, I never, I never been in a room and feel like I want to run out of this house. I've never felt that way. I, she's perfect. So, but if you get with the woman that's for Why you, you she will help you bring out things that you don't know is in you. She will help you be consistent with things that you cannot be consistent with. Have you will do the time. same. She can't help you. She can't help you be on time because I'm still late. So you can help her with things. The two yeah. of you guys are building a, a, a franchise, mm -hmm. right? The people that you touch, the people that she touch, all of that is encompassed in the relationship that you have. And for most people, you have children. You pass that godly legacy down through your lineage. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Jesus was born from a lineage, right? Mm -hmm. He was born from a lineage. The line of Judah is what they call it. All the way through to Jesus. That's where Jesus was born out of. God will bless lineages. I think I, I honestly believe that. Remember the priest Aaron in the Bible? His 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 uh lineage was blessed forever, right? So if you were born on the on the priest Aaron, you were blessed. And so the same thing can happen to you and what God has in store for you and your family moving forward. Now I think God can work around that. You can't have no kids, but for most men. It's not that you're incompetent. Two whole people coming together make a make a tremendous impact. Yeah. But being by yourself ain't bad. But bro, I, I believe that there's some more achievability, right? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't run for office if I wasn't married. You, you, you can't run for office to be successful being single. It's just it's just the structure we live in. But that's not a lot of people. Most no, no, people no, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that, if you're thinking about achieving a goal like that, that takes relationship and marriage. You think you're gonna be a CEO of a major corporation? You think you're gonna be the chief of police? All of that stuff is factored subconsciously in people's minds. You think you're gonna pastor a church and you ain't even married? I, I think that is it, some of those things will hinder you, even by virtue of marriage or not. They will hinder you uh, for being for climbing up the success ladder. I just think that I'm not saying that's why you should get married, I but I'm saying that's that another caveat. As a man, if you're single, it you're less focused. I feel like if you're dating and your your energy is kind of all over the place, and you, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't. No, it's I, true. That's how I feel. Disagree. I don't think that marriage is the end all be all. Before I met Brandon, I was like, if I never get married, I am fine. She said that, but she that. haven't even think about where her life. Think about where life is about to be. She say that. She say that. Yeah. But now that we're together, we're gonna live. We're going to accomplish our dreams. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. But I don't think that marriage is the end all be all. I think you have to be like happy and content and secure first because marriage isn't yeah. going to fix you if you are a miserable and you happy think I believe that? person. No, marriage is the end all be all? no. And this is kind of a tangent and different from what you were saying. But I really do think that like men who have not just a wife or a woman, oh. but like a good, solid woman that they're that they are meant to be with, I feel like you can... You can go further. You can work harder. Not a woman that nags you. I only See, think, think, think about this. Let me let me give you guys a rela our relationship. Mm -hmm. Korean don't have to go to go that nine to five mm -hmm. slaving at Sunglass Hut. Hey, I loved it. I worked I worked but, for Luxottica, the Sunglass Hut, for almost twenty years. But she, my life I'm saying she crazy. loved it, but I loved it. Nobody but it wants to. All my life. Nobody wants to have to go to a nine to five. True. So she don't have to do that. She can express and 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 have her own business ventures. Yeah. Apart from that, with me, it I'm telling y'all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When you're single, you all, if you're a Christian man, mm -hmm. you always want a wife. You know, you like God. I want a wife. I want a family. Like 
I don't want to be playing around, you know, just smashing and dashing. Like I want something solid. And everywhere you go, somebody's a candidate, right? You go to a Trump rally. You know, you 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 may see somebody. You like, dang, there may be somebody here that, that maybe my wife here. You you live it's a like, life. Oh, you're always thinking that. You live a life where it's just everywhere. Now, one of our one of our first conversations when we were just friends, and that's what he said. Like, man, I want to be married, and this, and that, and this, and that, and everything that comes with it. And I thought, oh my god, this guy, he just wants to get married. He'll marry anybody. It's true. I mean, well, you won't marry anybody, but so I just thought he just wants a wife. No, she. Was... He's not like he's waiting for the right one. He just wants a wife. So I was like, ah, nah. we'll just be friends. No, nah, she she was she was she had had her past personal stuff going on. Mm -hmm. I think that's why she perceived that every man wants a wife. If you're yeah. smart, I mean, you know, not you smart, but if you really want to be saved and you don't want to have sex out of wedlock and stuff, yeah. you want a wife. You don't want you don't want to be having to hold hold off forever. So you want a wife, and then you understand, like you know how much peace I have, Nan and me and Korean together. You know, you know how much how much I don't stress. You know, I'm, I, I can go out. I can go places, go to restaurants. I'm not trying to see am I presenting myself right because the right woman may come through the doors and I don't have to worry about dating and wasting my money. I'm kingdom building right now. You feel me? So that's kind of yeah, what it is. Your money is well spent on me. All right. Shout out to Bethany. Uh, Bethany won the... She, her, her super oh, trailer. yeah, yeah. Bethany here, winner of the fabulous hat. I'm so stoked. Thank you guys so much for the community you've created on your channel. God bless. Yeah, we, we, oh, we, we're going to do more. We're going to do more because... We have we have stuff obviously that we come we try all the stuff that we have on the store we at least try to give it a give it a feel um, make sure that it's quality stuff which I know it is our vendor is really really good wonderful vendor in the in the United States of America we got one warehouse in California one in uh, North Carolina and uh, so this is the hat that Bethany won I signed it I'll try to do my best to uh, continue to do giveaways we're not gonna do giveaways the same way we did. With with this thing, it was kind of like spare the moment. I said, I said, baby, I want to give, so I want to give away a hat. Like, oh, I want to give good. away a hat to somebody. I want to give away the hat to somebody who's who's consistently on our page. Yeah. You follow us on social media, but next time we're gonna do it through social media. We're gonna share it on all our social media platforms. I may mention it here, um, but the winner winner chicken dinner is gonna be on the social media. We're not gonna do it live on here because I was afraid that Bethany, what if she don't watch? You know what I'm saying? So I had to post it on the social media anyway, just in case she had something to do. She wouldn't know necessarily she's going to win. Um, I appreciate it, Bethany. Thank you so much for following us on all our social media. I encourage everybody, go follow us on The Officer Tatum Store on all our social media. Let's get it up. Let's get to hundreds of thousands of followers on the social media platform. Um, I love y'all, man. We got to get out of here. I got to go to the restroom. We got to go to bed. It's 8.50. Hungry. She's hungry. I'm hungry. We, we, have haven't, e we haven't even eaten dinner. Uh, if y'all keep super chatting, I'll stay. No, I'm just playing. Let's see, Brett. Um, Boudreaux. Boudreaux. That's how you say it. I want to say Babado because I knew somebody named Babado and their name was spelled like that. So, Boudreaux, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. We love you guys. We're going to have our own channel. The consensus is in. We'll have our own channel. Corinne and Brandon, what do y'all think? Tatum family? Yeah, we can give relationship advice. We give relationship advice. And we, we funny. Because I have years of and we terrible. Don't Awful. And we don't even Awful agree on all this stuff. Nightmare story. And we argue all the time about some dating stuff, even though we love each other to life. I'm going, I'm a pro life, change my mind. Could you pray for me? Oh, Dwight. Dwight, what state are you in, man? I got to get off this live stream. Dwight, what state are you in? We'll pray for you. Let's say a quick prayer real quick. We'll say a quick prayer real quick. We'll say a quick prayer. Dwight, will you be in our prayers? All right. Uh, Rebecca, thanks so much for another for another super chat. You you super chatting, you super chatting big today. Oh, the stickers are so cute. The stickers are funny, man. All right, so everybody, by your heads, Lord, thank you for blessing us, waking us up for another day, a new opportunity to bless your name, a new opportunity for your kingdom to be done on earth. God, I pray for everybody that's watching this live stream. God, that you will bless them, that you will forgive them, that you will help them be better people in the future, people who can follow your kingdom. For those who are not believers. And you, God, I pray that you show them the right way, that you show them um, in their own terms and in, in, in the way that you convey to them, that you show them that you're real. And and we thank you because we know that you're able and capable to do that. Dwight has a event. God, I pray that you give him favor and grace in that event that he can can present and be and present with love and be fruitful and also do what's right for your kingdom at the event. 
Um, God, I pray for every single person that, that have donated to the channel, that support the channel. God, I pray for the channel, that you bless this channel to be a beacon of hope, life. Uh, uh, you could say happiness, entertainment. Uh, I pray for everybody that's watching again. I pray for the president of the United States, that you bless him. Uh, pray for all the other politicians that are that are that are caught up in ungodly behaviors and all of the above. God, I pray that you bless them, that you help them, that you help them see the light. I love you, God. On behalf of everybody that's watching, we pray all these things in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. Love y'all, man. We out. We out. Jay Evans. You're my color. Your girl is the same as my girl. That being said, I love my white baby. He calls me Pale Force One. I call her Pale Force One. She got a little tan right now, so she ain't that pale. But uh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, mixed couples, man. It's, I, it's, it's all good. What? Pale, pale, Force pale Force One? Pale is not a color. It's not a race. It's a color. It's a, it's a complexion. But you you know you love my life. Mm. You don't kiss me on the lips? You don't want to kiss me on the lips? Mm. I didn't want she PDAs want, on the live stream. Uh, she didn't want what? I don't want PDAs on the live stream. I don't even know what it's that is. A public display of a fact. It was just a pick. We ain't making out. All right. I love y'all, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. We're out. That was fun.